Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today we're doing part three in a series of videos about short answers. And this video is about agreeing and disagreeing. So, we can use short answers to agree or disagree with someone. So dis disagree is the opposite of agree. It's when you do not agree with someone. An example situation is person A makes a statement using a full sentence. So a statement is um, a sentence that is not a question. Okay, so that's important. The first person says something, makes a statement, but is not asking a question. And then person B either agrees or disagrees using a short answer. So I'm going to show you how to be person B. Okay, how to use a short answer to agree or disagree with person A. Okay, so here is an example. Here is the statement. So this is person A. The statement is, Mark is washing the car. So notice that this is not a question. It's simply an affirmative statement. Mark is washing the car. And here is a long answer. So this is the, the bad answer, the wrong answer. Um, Jane says, yes, he is washing the car. So this is not good because we are repeating all the words from the statement. So we have the statement, washing the car, and we're repeating that here. So it's not a good style. So now let's look at the short answer. What is the good way to say this? Well, simply Jane says, yes, he is. Yes, he is. So David says, Mark is washing the car. And Jane replies, yes, he is. So here, Jane is agreeing with David. And this is the short answer. Let's now look at disagreeing. So the long answer, Jane says, no, he isn't washing the car. He isn't washing the car. So here is the negative. So we put it in the negative to disagree. But this again is the long answer because we're repeating all of this. So here is the correct short answer for no, he isn't. So David says, Mark is washing the car. And if Jane disagrees, then she says, no, he isn't, isn't, which is the contracted form of is not. Okay. So we're now going to look at the form of these short answers. So the form of the short answer depends on the statement. And there are four rules, okay? There are four different rules, which are very important. So the rule one, if the statement has an auxiliary verb, then the form of the short answer is subject followed by the auxiliary verb. And don't worry, I'm going to give you examples of all of these rules in this video. Rule two is if the statement uses the verb be or the verb have as a main verb, then the form of the short answer is subject followed by the main verb, which is be or have. Okay, so important. If be or have is used as a main verb, main verb, then this is the form. But if be or have is used as an auxiliary verb, then we use this rule, rule one. Okay. 
And rule three is if the statement is in the present simple tense, present simple, but not including the verb be or have. So if the verb is in the present simple, but it is not be or have, then the form of the short answer is subject followed by the verb do. So the correct form of the verb do. And again, don't worry, I'm going to give you lots of examples. Finally, rule four. If the statement is in the past simple tense, so past simple, and it is not the verb be or have, then the form of the short answer is the subject followed by did. And did, of course, this is the past form of do. Okay, so let's look at each of the four rules in detail. So rule one. So here it is again. If the statement has an auxiliary verb, then the form of the short answer is subject followed by auxiliary verb. Example. Jane says, David was driving too fast. David was driving too fast. So was, this is the auxiliary verb. So to agree, if, Cl if Claire agrees, then she says, yes, he was. Yes, he was. So yes, he is the subject. And was, this is the auxiliary verb. Okay, so Claire is agreeing here. And when we are agreeing, when it is in the affirmative form, when we are agreeing, it is always in the full form. We never contract this. This is never contracted. Okay, yes, he was. And if Claire disagrees, then she says, no, he was not. So this is the full form, no, he was not. So this means, no, he was not driving too fast. And this means, yes, he was driving too fast. And in the, when we disagree, we can also use the contracted form. No, he wasn't, no, he wasn't. So this means, no, he wasn't driving too fast. I disagree. David says, Mark has already seen that film. Has already seen that film. So this is the present perfect, has seen. And has is the auxiliary verb. So if Claire agrees, then she says, yes, he has. Yes, he has. I agree, yes, he has. And if Claire disagrees, then she says, no, he has not. No, he has not. And the contracted form is, no, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Or, no, he's not. No, he's not. So there are two choices for the contracted form. So this means, yes, he has already seen that film. And this means, no, he has not already seen that film. But since we want to use the short form, the short answer, then we say this. No, he has not. Rule two, with the verb be. So if the statement uses the verb be as a main verb, then the form of the short answer is subject followed by the main verb be. Sarah is bored. And Jane agrees. She says, yes, she is. Yes, she is. Again, notice how we only use the full form when it is the affirmative. Yes, she is. We never say, yes, she's. Okay. And if Jane disagrees, 
Then Jane says, no, she is not. She is not. So this means, no, she is not bored. And the contracted form, no, she's not. Notice here, when there is a noun or a person's name in the original statement, when we have the short answer, we replace the name or the noun with a pronoun. So this is um, a personal pronoun, a personal subject pronoun, she, because Sarah is a girl. Okay? And we have an alternative contracted form. No, she isn't. Okay? The cats were hungry. So here we have the verb be as a main verb. And this is the past simple of the verb be as a main verb. The cats were hungry. And David agrees. Yes, they were. And here, David disagrees. No, they were not. No, they were not. Or, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. So this means, yes, they were hungry. And here it means, no, they were not hungry. And here, it, so this is the form, subject, followed by the main verb. Okay, okay. And we also have rule two. It's the same rule with the verb have. So when have is used as a main verb, then the short answer is subject followed by main verb. Sorry, this should be have here. This is a mistake on the, on the slide. So this should be main verb have. So John has a Ferrari. John has a Ferrari. And Mark agrees. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Okay, so yes, followed by the subject, followed by the main verb have. Because remember, this should be have here. Sorry about that. No, he has not. No, he has not. So here, Jane is disagreeing. No, he hasn't. This is the contracted form. Or, no, he's not. Jane and Mark have a dog. And David agrees. Yes, they have. Or, David disagrees. No, they have not. No, they have not. Or, no, they haven't. So this is the contracted form. Or, no, they've not. Apostrophe V-E. Okay? So, rule two is, if we use the verb be, or the verb have, as a main verb, then... The form is subject followed by the main verb. So either be or have. So this is when it is have. Rule three. If the statement is in the present simple tense, then the form of the short answer is subject followed by the verb do in the correct form. So let me give you a very quick revision of the verb do. Here it is. Here's how we conjugate it. I do, you do, he, she or it does. This is the important one, does. We do, you do and they do. So John walks to work every day. So here we have the verb in the present simple. John walks to work every day. And Claire agrees. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. So notice how we completely change the verb here. 
The verb is walk, but we replace that with the verb do. Yes, he does. And if we disagree, then Claire says, no, he does not. Because, of course, in the negative, we would say, no, he does not walk to work every day. So this is the underlined one. It's um, the third person singular, masculine. And the contracted form, no, he doesn't. Another example, Jane says, I spend too much money on clothes. <laughs> and Mark agrees. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, you do. So yes, you do spend too much money on clothes. And if Mark is being polite and he does not agree, if he disagrees, then he says, no, you do not. No, you do not. So this means, no, you do not spend too much money on clothes. Or, no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay? So this is simply um, this form in the negative. Because we are disagreeing. And finally, rule number four. If the statement is in the past simple tense, okay, the past simple tense, um, apart from the verb be or have, because that was rule number two. So if the statement is in the past simple tense, then the form of the short answer is subject followed by did. So did, of course, this is the past simple form of do. So it's the same for every subject. I did, you did, he, she, it, did, we did, you did, and they did. John went to London last year. So went is the past simple form of the verb go. So John went to London last year. And Claire agrees, yes, he did. Yes, he did. So notice again, we completely change the verb here. So we go from the verb go and we replace it with did. Yes, he did. And when we disagree, we say, no, he did not. No, he did not. So we add the word not to put it in the negative form. Or, no, he didn't. So, of course, this means, no, he didn't go to London last year. And finally, the last example. Jane says, I worked for three hours yesterday. So, worked, K-E-D, so this is the past simple form of work. This is a regular verb. And for followed by the duration for three hours. And Mark agrees. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. So this means yes, you did work for three hours yesterday. Yes, you worked for three hours yesterday. And if Mark disagrees, he says, no, you did not. No, you did not. Or, no, you didn't. And this is the contracted form. Okay? So, the, that is the fourth rule. Okay? So, you have now seen all four rules with several examples and explanations. So, I hope that helped you. So, that's the end of the lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested in some private online lessons, then click here for the prices. And here are some other videos which I recommend.